Okay, this is pretty simple. Just remember, jackburford.com. Shop online 24-7, 365 for the best deal on your next Chevy. Stay local, shop local. Don't be known for buying out of town. jackburford.com, where Chevys cost less. From the studios of WBONTV.com, here's your daily afternoon news brief for Tuesday. Estill County officers arrested a man accused of assaulting a family member and holding her hostage in his home. A call was made to emergency operators before being ended abruptly, according to officials. The dispatcher called the number back when a male subject answered. The man, later identified as Stephen Deaton, reportedly acted suspicious and a female subject could be heard in the background allegedly screaming for help. Deputies traveled to the residence where they made contact with a woman who was heard over the phone. According to the arrest citation, she had visible bruising on her face and hands. Deaton was arrested and charged with neglect of an adult, unlawful imprisonment, assault, and criminal abuse. Kentucky State Police received a 911 call regarding a shooting on Webb Road. Allegedly, the caller stated that 30-year-old Justin Dargavell had shot at his father Steve Dargavell with a shotgun. Police report arriving on scene and speaking with Justin Dargavell as well as multiple witnesses, where Justin allegedly stated that after the physical altercation, his father Steve pointed a handgun at him and allegedly fired two shots in his direction while he walked away from the altercation. The citation continues that Dargavell reportedly admitted to firing three shotgun shells at his father's car. A pellet from one of those shells struck his father, and shortly thereafter, police reportedly located a 12-gauge shotgun in Dargavell's vehicle, along with three empty shells. Justin Dargavell was lodged in the Madison County Detention Center on charges of wanton endangerment, the first degree. His father, Steve Dargavell, was released from the hospital with no serious injuries. In Jackson County Emergency Management Report, they have now located the Jackson County woman that had previously been reported as missing. In a Facebook post, Sarah Carr's family reported they had not seen her since Saturday. Carr had reportedly been on her way to Sand Gap at the time of her going missing, but officials report that she has now been found and is safe. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.